So the only problem we're running into right here is that these are pretty close to the same, but like it fits right in. This one here, not quite. So I'd rather have a circuit breaker. I'd rather have one that lights up. And I know that I have some in some of these power supplies. You can see them over here. Actually, no, these don't. They're just light ups. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to file a little bit here so it'll fit. So I just get a little file kit from Harbor Freight. It's pretty old. Just go on the bottom. It's a little tight on the sides too. You don't want to take off too much either because if you decide you don't like this and then you take off a whole lot, well, this might sit in there. This was really difficult to get out, so um, pretty sure you could probably move quite a bit. So you get a little bit off the side here. And definitely up in the corner. Because it's slightly larger, so you really need to make sure. Now it's going to say reset at the top and then off at the bottom. And then your line goes in here and your load goes here. Really similar to how it was. Okay. Boom. Look at that. That looks great. And it doesn't wiggle around like the other one did. So, now, we can't reach this one here, so, we're, it was already really a tight reach anyway. We, uh, can you remove this wire or tape it up and tuck it up? Um, it's on the neutral line, and this was the, uh, one that went to the light. So, probably, um easiest way is to just tape it up or something you know cut the end off of it I don't know these crimps aren't particularly reliable so um, this one here that I'm actually gonna do is I just come in here and I'm just gonna solder it right to it I'm not gonna do anything stupid because somebody can always unsolder this later on if they really need to so I just think that's the easiest way to do it so I don't think I can probably pull it off with my soldering iron, so I'll use the soldering gun to do it. And I, I guess I could film that. I mean, I'm not no professional solderer. You guys probably shouldn't copy my techniques because a lot of times I do it, you know, a way that I like to do it, which is cheating. But. Uh, I really haven't had any issues of anything failing. So let's get this here. We get some flux inside of this thing. Okay. What we do is I'm just going to heat it up. There's already solder on it. To wait for this thing to heat up. I readjusted my thing yesterday, so took out the tip and cleaned it and did all this stuff with it. 
And I don't know why it's taking so long to heat up because it looks fine. Okay. We might just remove this one. It might just be the easiest solution. Go in here and remove it. Yeah, forget it. Look at that. Okay. I need my, my pliers. Where? Where are my pliers? There we go. Fully seated. So now, we got that on there. I want to get some more. should be good and then this wire just needs to be extended it might have had one of these on it at one point in time so basically this is the other side of the coil right here and it would just go to the light, but this doesn't have a light in it. This is actually the circuit breaker, so we have double protection now. Fuse, so line in to the fuse, to the line in to the load, and this is the load. So, get all this stuff on there, gets old and comes off. I probably could make it reach, you know. Um, but I just need to find a little piece of something 14 gauge or better and just hook it to it solder it on it so we'll be back so I just need to use a piece of house wire I've made a little hook on it I'm going to solder it and I'm going to heat shrink it and um, just get it on here I guess it could come apart, technically. <clears throat> yeah. But it's unlikely. Now it's going to be in the heat shrink, so... I just don't like to use crimps on anything. Really difficult to do. I need like that helping hand thing. So now, hopefully, I can get it to fit over it. If not, then I'm gonna have to pull that and straighten it. smoke cigarettes anymore so I'm always looking for the lighter when I need it. Okay. You got that there? Hook it on the bottom. And there's like a hole in it so I'm just trying to get some of this solder out of the way first I 
There we go. See if I can actually get that to go in there. Maybe too much. There we go. Yeah, I could probably pinch it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to do that because if it needs to be removed, I don't want to be wrestling around with it later on. Take it and tape it up inside the case here or something, you know. So if somebody ever runs across this, they'll know like what's up with it. I like to do that. If I put it in my parts drawer, I'll never know. I just like literally just take it and tape it, you know, <laughs> behind the case. Anyway, let's plug this in and see if it goes boom. And what's nice is this one has meters that light up. And it has meters, so we don't really need a light to know that the damn thing's on or not. So there we go. I don't like the... Um, Adjustable ones because my kid has come out here before and messed with stuff and uh, I was talking on my radio and it was turned down And I was wondering what the hell was going on so I've got another one You guys can't see it. Hold on I've got another one down here This one's brown. This one's gray. It's weird But this is a 35M You can adjust the volts and the current and I so I don't know why you would ever need that for ham radio. Um, and the if you're using like a lab supply or something, but I, I don't want it adjustable, and I don't need to do any current limiting. So this is perfect for me. Nobody can adjust it on accident, you know. So there you go. So. Thanks for watching.